Assalamu alaikum guys, in this video I will show you what is the difference between chunk and chunk by ID methods and when and how to use them. First of all here I have my users table with all of users status is zero or false or inactive whatever and here the set number is 12,000 or 13,000 or about 13,000 and I want to loop over all of these inactive users all users whose status is zero and sending them an email to inform them to be active again or do any action in this case if we don't update anything we can use chunk directly and i will chunk them thousand by thousand for memory performance and for example here i will loop around each thousand user and i will send this log email sent to users as a simulation if we run this command here i wrote it in a command right and i will write the results in this uh, log file let's check if you not still so i am filtering by status column equal to zero now let's try again and now it's done right works correctly and it reached here no problem back to our log file start from user id number one until the last user id here with 2907 rows which is our number of rows but if you want for example to change or update this status method that we filtered if we open Laravel documentation here it says if you are filtering result using chunk here and also we will update that column while iterating or looping, we must use chunk by ID instead. Let's continue with chunk and we will see what will happen. I will add some separator here, divider like this, right? And I will say using chunk when update, right? Here it works correctly. And now, for example, I will say user update status equals to one instead of zero and also i want to write log again log info user updated with user id user id i will rerun it again and now it returns done according to our database here all of our statuses is zero so it must update all results but let's back and see here i will say status equal to one as we can see because update it to one let's count only six or seven thousand has been updated also we use the chunk it must update all of two twelve thousand colons but let's back and check here start as user id number one two three updating you with chunk right if we continue to for example 1000 here comes to 1000 then 1001 at and it moves to 2002 2003 neglecting 2000 ids and so on so here is the difference we must use chunk by id when we update now let's add a separator here at the end of the file and i will say here update using chunk by id now let's update them again all will be zero right and now i will say select count all from users where status equal to zero all equal to zero now if i run the same command again but i will use chunk by id let's run the command again returns done check our query let's rerun it again with one can one equal to zero zero and all of them now equals to one and work is corrected so here is the point if you filtering and updating this column or any updating actually i prefer to use chunk by id while updating right
back to our log again chunk using y chunk by id and if we back to 1000 here this one 1000 1000 1 2 3 and works correctly according to last featured id it, re it fetches the uh, next id so here's the difference between chunk and chunk by id if you find it useful support me by clicking the like share and subscribe see you next video